What's up, Nine Row Nation? We are talking about your jab punch today, one of the key fundamentals of knocking out a great workout. Now, the jab punch is always gonna be with your front hand. So Kevin right now is in an orthodox position. He's gonna be doing his jab with his left hand. If he were to switch stance, let's switch stance real quick to a southpaw, now his right hand becomes his jab. So see how that switches back and forth? That's the first thing that I want you to know about your jab. Now, we're gonna go back to Kevin's dominant side. He's gonna work the jab. Now, for the jab, there's three key factors that are going on when you work your jab. The first thing is that if you are actually fighting someone and you throw a jab, you're gonna stabilize your opponent and blind your opponent. And that's one of the reasons why we really turn that hammer over. If he doesn't turn that hammer over and if he was fighting someone, they could still possibly see him and be able to come at him. But by turning that over, that's gonna blind your opponent. And that's a great key. Now, functionally, what we're doing is gauging distance for our other punches or kicks while we're working out a nine round. So he throws out that good jab, just like that, turning that hammer over. He's setting up for the cross or he's setting up for a kick possibly too. So the jab is a big time setup punch for things coming later on. Now, let's talk about the functionality of the jab. As he jabs out, He's turning that hammer over, his core is nice and tight. He is, his shoulder is actually protecting his chin and his chin stays nice and tucked like you see right here. Again, the core stays nice and tight, the knees are nice and bent. He comes back to recovery. Give me three good jabs, Kevin. One, two, three. If you can do a jab like Kevin Hurricane Hudson, you're gonna be a rock star.